the name Stami for SETI. I got kicked out of Vice City by some stupid hoodlums that think they can take over my gang. Everybody in my gang were killed. One job only. All dead. That stupid lawyer of mine's hired them. Why did I listen to him? But Los Santos, just like Vice City, once I get rich in here, I'm gonna go leave back to Vice City so I can take over those mother... I need to chill on my language. The name's Tommy Versetti. They should remember that name. But guys, enjoy the video, please. Um, so guys, before this video starts, I do have a few rules. So, we're gonna go over them. Just a few. No flying cars, no bikes, no unnecessary buys. I must make millions, just like the real Tommy Frissetti. I don't have an amount, but maybe about 50k. <laughs> 50k. Also, we'll assemble a team, but that will only happen in the second episode. I will also own a white Ferrari, because Tommy Frissetti is able to drive Ferraris in the game. Thanks to GTA Gentlemen for the... Uh, video to start and modest pelican for giving me the idea of this video now enjoy the vid so my character already does look a lot like tommy Frissetti. i just need to do a few tweaks to make him look just that little more special so i go ahead and i just change the the hair a little bit make it a little bit darker and I fixed my beard because it's a little bit too light too. Also, I put on this jumpsuit because it kind of does look like one of the jumpsuits that Tommy is able to wear in the video game. So, I most likely will find an, another jumpsuit later on in these episodes and will dress like that. So, I spawn into Los Santos and the city looks great and I'm just admiring my view. I have a gun with only... A little bit of ammo and so I see this clothes shop pretty close to me but then this guy named Ron called me Ron has jobs for me for some guy named Dax I didn't really care about whoever the hell Dax was or whatever I will do his missions in the second episode but because I rage quit during this episode trying to do his missions because they're so freaking annoying man so I go into the clothes shop just to look at what will I buy as Tommy Frissetti and what would be the best Hawaiian shirt? The Hawaiian shirt that you see on screen, I will not buy because even though it does look pretty good, I would like to try something different because I didn't like that one. Other than that, I get on this bike, almost get hit by a car. This guy throws me off because he's a racist and so he kicks me. I try to punch him and I miss horrifically. I run, he gets hit by the truck. I try to steal this guy's car, but I didn't want to. And so I get on the bike. He kicks me. He didn't kick me off, luckily. But whatever. So I remembered while playing this that if you go to the casino, you can actually make cash from just buying a membership. So I go up there. I get off my bike. And so I go over to this guy. This guy is usually killed by most people. I didn't kill him because that's just not me. So I walk into the casino, and I did not cut out this part. You're probably wondering, why? Because, watch time is good for videos. Wow. So, I spawn into the casino, and I meet this guy, Douglas. I don't remember if his name is Douglas, but I'm just going to call him Douglas, because I forgot his name. And so, Douglas is, uh, shushed off, is that the word? By this guy named Tom. But there can only be one Tom in this series, so his name's gonna be Johnny. Because I really don't care. Wow. So, he hands me some champagne, and we meet his boss, Agatha Baker. Wow, that took a long time to get right. But, basically, when I buy an $8 million penthouse, I will be able to do her jobs. So, the casino's nice. Everything's nice, falling diamonds. So, I go over to him. I got a visitor bonus, by the way. So, I go over to him, and I buy a membership. Because the membership will give me $5,000. Which is technically chips. But since America doesn't really have a gambling law. It doesn't really matter. So I spin the wheel. And I actually get a pretty penny. $20,000 on my first spin. Even though the white car would have looked nice. I can't have it because I don't have a garage yet. 
So I go ahead, I walk out with my $20,000. And I'm just looking around, because I don't have a car. So I go ahead and get the car already. And I almost crashed into these two crackheads, but they didn't really care. They just looked at me. So I did start up the mission, but again, like I said, I rage quit because I don't have time to do this. So I go back to go put on the clothes and I buy this revolver on the way there because why not? And then I do one of the dumbest things that anybody has ever done in gaming history. I bought an $11,000 tent for a gun that I didn't even need. It's just cosmetics. Why did I do that? So while I head over to the clothes shop, this guy was robbing, was robbing, <laughs> robbing the store, and we can't have that. So I don't use my gun while I get shot. I punch him because he is. Wow, I can't make that joke. I was about to say that he was black. So I was going to take the money off him, but I forgot. That I thought I already had took off the money, and I didn't know you there was a button that you had to click to put on, but whatever, that's fine. So I run over to the clothes store to get this sweet transformation of me walking out with my Hawaiian shirt. Look at this! Boom, there we go. Tommy for SETI. Let's go. They call me Tommy. Wow, I don't know jokes, so I'm just gonna talking to the mic like a crazy guy so i just want to show off my skin looks good enough for tommy for seti so i'll go back to ron but i don't have time to do this mission because these missions are dumb so in the next episode i will 100 percent do those missions i'm sorry but am i really because i really don't care if i'm sorry or not i don't like those missions so i go over to the stash house and guys the people who are running the stash house were so nice to me they just gave me the cash like it was so nice like they didn't even care. They said, hey, man, you want some cash? So I walk out with with a good $28,000, which is very good for this game because I'm a noob. So I set my waypoint to Benny's Autos because I know Lamar has a job for me, and that job will pay me a little bit of cash. So we, are, we head over to Benny's Autos while they run in over. So Lamar said, yo, cut a little bit of the buster, man. We gotta get these ballers, you know. I'm gonna be on top, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, nah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, come on, buster, man. You, man. Man, especially you, man. You should must, man. You should must. I need you to go shoot the ballers in the endo gazer, man. You know what I mean? You should buster, man. You know that, man. You should buster, man. I'm about to. So we go over back and we shoot over these ballers. And there's nothing really excited about this mission. We just shoot up a bunch of people. That's just like an average GTA player. So we go over here, and I'm a level 1 with a pistol. All my teammates die, even though they are higher level than me. And then I barely am able. But luckily, I have the best driver in the world. And we do this sick stunt. We totally did not crash into anything. And he is barely able to get on the road and almost got us killed. But luckily, we head back to Benny's Autos, which is very good for us. So Lamar said, man, y'all, man, y'all, I'm king now. I'm king now. Y'all need, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bud, man. I'm, a, I'm about to bud, man. I'm about to bud. I'm bushing. I'm bushing. I'm bushing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm king. I'm king. Yeah, yeah. Nah, mate. So I smoke a cigarette. But now I think a team that I worked with was really bad because they died a bunch of times. But guys, trust, next episode... I will have a team. Actually, I think I'm about to call somebody up right now.